Good morning everyone. I hope everyone's happy and enjoying the sunshine. I've got a favourite book to read to you and it's called Awkward Aardvark. It's one of my favourite books so I'm going to read it for you. Just turn the pages. There he is, look, looking cute. Looking at the ants. There he is, fast asleep. Aardvark was asleep in his favourite tree. The tree was old and dry, but it had a smooth branch where Aardvark would lie and rest his long nose. Fast asleep, look. And what a nose! His snoring was so loud that it kept Mongoose and all the other animals awake, night after night. <laughs> went Aardvark's nose. How do ye? yawned Mongoose. I wish he would keep quiet and go somewhere else. There's Mongoose lot looking at him at the bottom of the tree. Oh look. Aardvark only stopped snoring when the sun came up. Then he clambered to the ground and uh, set off to hunt for tasty grubs and crunchy beetles. While Aardvark was hunting for breakfast, Mongoose had an idea. I would just have to annoy him more than he annoys me, he decided. There he is off on his hunt for breakfast. First, Mongoose had a meeting with the monkeys. Next, he went to see Lion. Then he talked to Rhinoceros. There's Aardvark. That night, as usual, Aardvark climbed up to his branch in the tree and very soon he was snoring. <laughs> Mongoose called into the darkness. The monkey came and the tree shook as they chattered and screeched in the branches. Aardvark woke up. Stop making that noise, he shouted. But he soon went back to sleep and snored even more loudly than before. <laughs> the mongoose called out again. There was a low, rumbling growl as Lion came pad, pad, padding to the tree where Aardvark was asleep. There he is. Stretching his legs and reaching high, Lion scratched the bark with his long claws. Aardvark woke up again. Stop it! Go away! he shouted. But as soon as he was snoring again, louder than ever. Now, Mongoose was very angry. He was so angry that his fur bristled. He set out another call. The ground trembled as Rhinoceros came puff, puff, puffing to the tree. Bump! Aardvark nearly fell off the branch when Rhinoceros pushed his fat bottom against the trunk. Go away! Leave me alone! cried Aardvark. But still he did not stay awake for long. We need help, puffed Rhinoceros. I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh-oh. What's happening? Soon, there came a munch, munch, munching sound from the roots of the tree. Aardvark just kept on snoring. Suddenly, there was a loud snap and a crack. Snap, went the roots. A crack went the tree, and it toppled over. Aardvark bounced to the ground. Oh dear. He picked himself up and glared at the animals. Who did that? Who pushed my tree over? He demanded. Oh, look, he looks cross. 
Not me, said Lion. Not me, said the rhinos. Not us, said the monkeys. Aardvark snorted at Mongoose. It was you. Not me, said the mongoose. They did it. And he pointed at the broken roots. Oh my goodness. What are those? It is long tongue. Aardvark saw that the roots of the tree had been eaten away by hundreds of termites. I'm going to gobble you up, he threatened. He stuck out his long tongue and he ate some of the termites. Mmm, yum, yum. He licked his lips. <laughs> I think I'll eat you all. The termites hurried away with Aardvark following and eating as many as he could reach with his tongue. Lovely. Lots and lots of food for him. In the morning, the termites hid in the castles of sand and mud, which they built to protect themselves. But at night, they came out to eat the trees. Oh, no. Look at them. There's thousands of them. There's their holes, look. And from that time to this, Aardvark has slept during the day and eaten termites at night. And Mongoose and the other animals sleep peacefully because they're no longer disturbed by Aardvark. Awkward Aardvark's awful snoring. There he is eating all the termites he can. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story. That's one of my favourite ones. I will read you another one soon. Enjoy.